This is Nancy that fixed this house, and I'm here in my um, dining room to give you an update on the Lungo de Napoli squash. Um, this is one that I harvested uh, last last week, I believe, and I think I pulled this one off the vine because it had squash bugs that were eating all you know there were all the town on it, the little larva. So I decided to grab it before it was too late. I did try to do a puncture test with my um, thumbnail. And it seems like it's pretty firm. It's got like a, a whitish film on it, like a waxy coating that says that they should be ready um, when winter squash have that downy coat kind of thing. So this one here, I think we weighed it and it was about 15 pounds. And, um, but this, I want to cut it open, but I don't want to cut this one open. I want to cut a different one open. Um, here's a soda can for reference. I want to cut this one open. This one weighed in at 30 pounds, and um, the thing's huge. And when I pulled this off of the uh, off of the vine, it was it was standing up, you know, upright like this. It was turning a little bit green, from green to yellow or orange. Not and in the week that since I've taken that off the vine, it, it keeps turning yellower and yellower. So this is the one we're going to try um, because I have the best chance of seeing whether or not it's actually ripe. It should be orange in the middle. And I don't know whether we should harvest it when it's yellowy orange or if we should get it when it's green, but um, let's give this a try. This section up here towards the vine should be mostly um, meat or flesh and then the seeds should be down this section. So let's give this a, a go. And we'll see, I'm looking forward to roasting some like butternut squash in the oven. It's not too hard to cut, a little bit like a pumpkin in difficulty. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with this one. Wow, oh boy, can you see that? Don't have the best lighting in here. How about this one right there, can you see that? That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. All right, let me see if I can move it back a little bit and take another stab at it. I got 30 pounds of squash to eat. I'm thinking I can um, put saran wrap on it, stick it in the fridge, the spare fridge, and then keep working at it. When I was looking up information online, there wasn't a whole lot of information about this particular squash. That looks pretty cool. And there uh, wasn't a lot of information about what it's, how, when to harvest it or, you know, I didn't think it was supposed to turn yellow. I, I don't know. The one guy I saw that's holding one, he's holding a big one and a big squash and it's green. So, who knows. Anyway, um, I could probably bake this right in the oven as is and then pull the skin off. But I'm just going to chop off the skin like so and then cut it into cubes. <clears throat> Drizzle it with olive oil and garlic and some herbs and stick it in the oven for a while. That is a nice piece of... Okay, anyway, so when I was reading up about this, it said that in Italy, where this grows, um, they sell it in pieces. And you don't buy the whole thing, you just buy a piece of it because they're so generous. <clears throat> Anyway, I think that, saw, that answers the question here with uh, what it looks like. I'm, later on, I will, be, I will be, I can update you if you ask me when we actually cut this one open. Um, I'll let you know what color the inside is and how it, how it tastes. And uh, I'm going to continue cutting this, but I wanted to show you what it looked like. If you have any questions or comments, suggestions, this is probably the biggest and easiest squash I ever um, grew. And I think I've gotten, I had 10 seeds, I've gotten four of these giant ones so far. I've got a big one still growing, and then I saw three baby ones, and we're still at the end of August. So let's hope that we still get some more. Um, thanks for watching. If you have questions or comments, please write them down below. Feel free to hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching.